Hello everybody, here we are today and we're going to be talking about the Arizona Coyotes, their recent long losing streak, talking about the numbers and just giving my parting thoughts at the end of the video. So before we get into that, please make sure to subscribe if you're new to me or hockey, whatever the case may be. That being said, let's get on into it. So yes, with a loss to the Edmonton Oilers yesterday, 6-3, the Coyotes have now lost 10 in a row, and as you can imagine, their playoff hopes are not looking good. I was really interested to see where they stood in the grand scheme of things before this 10-game streak, and they had a much easier path to the playoffs before all this, as you can imagine. So on January 22nd, after their last and most recent win, they had 49 points in 45 games played and set two points out of wildcard spot. Since then, everything has gone wrong for them. They've got 0, 9, and 1, so they've captured 1 out of a possible 20 points. They have the worst points percentage in the league during that spell, and they went from being 2 points back of a wildcard spot, or being out of a wildcard spot, to being 10 points out of a wildcard spot. And on top of that, they have the second to worst goals for percentage at all strengths during this spell, just ahead of the Chicago Blackhawks, as Arizona has been outscored 46 to 23 in this time. Now, with all that kind of being introduced here, let's take a dive into some other numbers. So I'm basically just going to throw these up on the screen so you guys can see them and then I'll read them out loud. So here we go talking about 5 on 5 numbers. So at full strength, they are 31st for shots 4 percentage just ahead of the St. Louis Blues, 31st for goals 4 percentage just ahead of the Chicago Blackhawks, 28th for expected goals 4 percentage, 12th for most high danger chances against per 60, 4th for medium danger chances against per 60, 13th for expected goals against per 60, and 31st for save percentage at 877. So 5 on 5, not looking great. Um, there's some things that are a little bit weird there where uh, their goaltending has not been something that's really been helping them out where they've been allowing a little bit more goals than expected partially because of their goaltending at the same time too. You know, they are giving up chances, but now we get to talk a little bit about the man vintage. Some things are kind of weird there as well too, so we'll put that up on the screen now. So on the power play during this losing streak, they have gone 5 for 32, been successful 15.6% of the time, which would rank 27th in the league. They've been able to get on the man advantage on all 10 of their games. However, in this period, they rank 20th for expected goals 4 per 60, 26th for goals 4 per 60, 29th for scoring chances 4 per 60, 27th for high danger chances 4 per 60, and 25th for medium danger chances 4 per 60. So not really the thing that gets you all inspired there as well because when you're not playing well at full strength like we'll always say on this channel you kind of need special teams to help you out a little bit and it's weird because Arizona will get a lot of penalties or they'll be able to draw a lot of penalties in certain games however as you can see they're not being able to really capitalize on that and it's just another thing that's not really helping them at the moment which gets us to the other point where we get to talk about what life is like when they're on the PK. So when they get guys in the box, the penalty kill percentage is 77.7%, .7%, which would be 23rd in the league over the course of the full season. As for other numbers, they have averaged the 7th most minutes in killing off penalties. That's not a good thing, by the way. They are 4th in shots against per 60, 15th in goals against per 60, 7th highest for expected goals against per 60, 2nd most in scoring chances against per 60, 3rd most in high danger chances against per 60, 2nd most for medium danger chances against per 60, and have the 12th save percentage in this run, which is actually a good thing. So as you can see, things are very weird here where you have the goalies actually being just battered on the PK, but they'll help their team out. But at five on five, they might be part of the thing that's holding the team back a little bit. There's some weird things going on here as well. They've had three goalies play during this run and by far Karel Vamelka has been their best goalie, but he doesn't even have a safe percentage over 900. Um, I think Ingram might be injured from what I saw on daily faceoff, but still you're looking at a deal where even your best goalie isn't, you know, at the league average save percentage. The 5-on-5 five five numbers are pretty abysmal. The power play is not really doing a whole lot for you. And the PK is potentially way worse if you don't have good performances from guys like Vamelka. His goal saved above average total is in the negatives. But again, looking at what I just showed you there, it's easy to understand why it'd be in the negatives because the goalies are having to do a lot of heavy lifting in that circumstance. And all around, you're just seeing a situation where the Coyotes are not playing very good hockey. And that's uh, really not surprising here when you don't win a game in 10 games. Now, I will say some of these teams that they're playing, playoff teams or playoff hopefuls, teams that feel like they're still alive in the thick of it, but the Coyotes have had some very unfortunate losses in this time. They lost in overtime against the Nashville Predators. 
a team that is in that wild card hunt and it does make you wonder a little bit about what Arizona is going to be able to do here. And I don't know, I mean, you're looking at some of these things here and realizing that some of these players have been able to do all right. Um, in terms of offense, you're looking at a guy like Clayton Keller. He's got nine points in 10 games. He has got the most five on five points um, during this spell, five points in 10 games. I do wonder a bit there about how that would work. You look at a guy like Nathan McKinnon, how he just racks up full strength points all the time. And I'd be curious to see the deeper numbers for other guys at full strength. But in general, I am just looking at this team and saying that their playoff hopes are, as you can imagine, very, very abysmal. According to moneypuck.com, they have a 0.6% chance of making it to the playoffs, which is just really, really unfortunate. You have 27 games left, and I think before this 10-game stretch, you were looking at a lot of people, including myself, where I made a video about the Coyotes early in the year, talking about how maybe they don't make the playoffs, but this could be one of the better Arizona teams in recent memory, and really give you a feeling of confidence heading into next season and the future. And right now, I don't really think that teams and the fan base are especially feeling that. And just like how the highs encapsulate you with the warmth, which is what a good chunk of the Coyote season had been, the lows are something that makes you feel stranded in the desert, pun intended, for Arizona fans, because now you're in a spot where you realize it's just kind of how it's been in recent memory for a while, or a long time really, where yes, theoretically something could happen that is good for them, but at the same time, too, they are in a situation where the season probably is done, and they might be focused on a top draft pick, which is never really a bad thing to be able to get that high-end talent. Um, but in general, I think that this losing streak could really just kind of run through the rest of the year. And I don't want to say endanger anything for the team, but with how this team is and where they're at in terms of security in the state, it just seems really weird because one day you'll hear about, oh, well, they're looking at land in and around Phoenix and Gary Pittman says they're not going to leave. However, at the same time, you'll also have the league say, this, what we've got going on here right now, is not viable. It is not a long-term solution, and we have to figure some things out. And then, of course, you have Salt Lake, which has really been pushing for a team. There is even articles being written about how maybe instead of expansion, Utah could get the Coyotes to move up there, and then they'd have a long-term home. I'm not really saying that's the case, and I know that this all doesn't really tie in necessarily to this 10-game losing streak, saying that this is the reason why they're losing. But in general, I just feel like this losing streak is one of those things with Arizona fans where as soon as they feel like something good is happening for them, it just gets pulled out from under the rug. And now they're in a spot where I am hoping that they can have a decent run to finish out the year. I don't know if fans would really want that with the draft pick. But again, if you are somebody that lives in Arizona or you have a connection to this team being in that region, what good does a draft pick have if they're not there in the future? So anyway, what are your thoughts on the Coyotes over this 10-game losing streak? Why are they losing? Do you think this is what they really are? Obviously, no team is this bad for a whole season. But do you think that the Coyotes and how they are after 55 games is what they're going to be? Or do you think that this is just a rough patch in the season? So let me know all that stuff down below in the comments. Also, please make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Everybody stay safe. Have a great night. And you will love hockey all right. Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.